sale. So, ooh, blood orange ginger. Y'all, kombucha does this to me every time. So I'm Hello, hello, hello. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany. I'm a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, and mental health content. Girl, I'm about to go to Whole Foods because I got to make a um, Amazon return. And then, of course, I'm going to check out the sale items. I already know that I want to get, because I got the Whole Foods apps, so I'll be checking out what's on sale. I already know that I want to get their air-chilled whole chicken because I like buying whole chickens. And air-chilled is just a little bit more sanitary. So I'm going to buy that. And then um, I'm going to get some of their Vital Farms eggs that are on sale. Plus, I got a coupon for a free dozen. And the sale price for them eggs is $6 because they are high quality. There was some other stuff that I wanted to get um, too, but I got to look at my list. So let's go on the stove. But it just looks like unrefined shea butter. It says multi-use balm though. For $10.70 for the sale price. Lit. Now this is actually unrefined shea butter right here. And then they have, ooh, this one sounds good. Whipped shea butter and coconut oil with a lavender scent. And then unscented. This looks absolutely fabulous. For those of y'all who are scared to go to Whole Foods because of the prices, baby, get you a little cart and walk in here with confidence with your head held high, okay? You deserve to be in here. I love to get little stuff like this for my pocketbook because girl, how cute and classy is it to spray your hand, sanitize, your hand sanitizer like, girl, you are fabulous. But anywho, I came to this section to grab some lotion because I do enjoy this lotion and because she's made from shea she is very good for chronically ashy folks it looks like some items might be on sale mm. yeah that's on sale don't need bacon oh uncured canadian bacon because this would be good for a breakfast sandwich too seven ounces for 4.49 that's a lot of sodium i'm gonna skip this oh but hold on this brand i've never had their canadian bacon but this brand of their pork sausage Girl, best sausages I've ever had in my life. As soon as this goes on sale, I will be purchasing it. But for $7.99, no, not happening. This is the sausage right here. If you ever see it, buy it expeditiously. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I will be indulging. I sure will. The uh, Remember that prosciutto and jalapeno one that I got some months back? Oh yeah, I'm definitely indulging. I didn't even know this was going on right now and they got this sale going on for a while. So I can come back and re up. Yes, please. Okay, I found my air chilled whole chicken and it's pasture raised. I love that. If I had enough room in my freezer, this is like this is always my dilemma. Lack of space in the freezer. I would definitely get two so I could have an extra one. Check the date. Oh, we good are the expensive eggs that I will be buying thanks to a coupon that I have that will be making it free. $5.39. I always gotta check out what yogurts are on sale and all of these Noosa brands are on sale. Aussie culture, strawberry rhubarb. What kind of milk is it? 
cold milk. You know this is delicious. Okay, I am going to try this strawberry rhubarb, I think. And peach. Yeah, because I bought some whole milk um, yogurts from Trader Joe's that were so freaking good. Matter of fact, it was a honey one, so I'm gonna grab this honey one as well. This granola, y'all, if you see it, grab it because it's absolutely delicious. It's not on sale, but I think I'm about to just go ahead and buy it because I've been thinking about it incessantly. This bag is set up with a table with samples of these and these. I tried the maple brown sugar one. Y'all, why was this good? <laughs> I mean, like, really good for, like, I guess breakfast on the go. Oh, yeah. Now, it's expensive. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But these are good as all get out. Like, crispy on the outside, sweet, soft on the inside, really good. So, I bet you the blueberry one is good as well. They do have a little bit of kombucha on sale. So, ooh, blood orange ginger. <laughs> Y'all, kombucha does this to me every time. So, I'm gonna grab two of these bottles. Are they're amazing. See, they have watermelon, superberry, love, clear mind, and then these other ones from a different brand. Ooh, y'all know I like trying high quality frozen foods. I'm gonna go ahead and get this because I love me some lamb sog. So I'm gonna try it. Let's see, the container size is 10 ounces for a frame of reference. Remember that all the um, Asian one that I tried last week was nine ounces for the container and it was $4, so the price is about the same. And you see they have all different types, y'all. They got the chicken tikka masala, chicken biryani, coconut curry chicken, sweet and sour chicken. They got everything you need. But I'm gonna try this one because I love this some Indian food. And for pizzas, my husband Lou is a regular pizza kind of guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rising crust pizza. It's $5.29, girl. I mean, come on. Come on. And then I want to try, they got a chicken and barbecue sauce one. I do not like that crust pizza. Ooh, they got a supreme one. But I mean, if you're trying to be skinny, then I guess you could grab you a thin crust. But if I'm eating pizza, I'm trying to go all out. You feel me? Chicken and barbecue sauce. Ooh, this is thin crust. I could do this with like, a half of a salad if I'm really trying to be skinny. You know what I mean? And then they got a uh, three meat one. All right, so I went ahead and put that um, lamb sog away because I wanted to eat something for food. Mm -hmm. I love how my Whole Foods has like the best prepared food. Like, they got the best meat. Mm -hmm. I love how my Whole Foods has like the best prepared foods. I almost forgot my tzatziki. So I can to find that. They got tzatziki. And it's on sale for $3.23. $51.70 later, I am all done in Whole Foods. My pizzas came out to be $3 and some change each. <laughs> that was a smart move. I'm glad I put back that, um, that lamb sog. It'll go on sale again and I'll just try it then. Um, those yogurts came out to be a Zola and 30 cents. I mean, like, come on. All of this is, like, so good. And again, for the girls who feel like they are nervous about going to Whole Foods because Whole Foods is expensive, you need to, like, walk with your head held high. Because I used to think that, too. I was thinking, like, Whole Foods is for rich white people. No, Whole Foods is for everybody. It's for people who want a nice grocery shopping experience and a clean atmosphere with amazing, good, good quality and tasty foods. That is who Whole Foods is for. I love Whole Foods. Whole Foods is my favorite grocery store. I wish that I could do my whole grocery shopping trip in there. But woo child, that would be very costly. But, you know, I really don't need to because I just grab specialty items out of there. And y'all see the way that I grocery shop in there. I buy the stuff that's on sale and then I scan my um, Whole Foods app that's connected to Amazon and you get an extra 10%. Like, don't don't do that to yourself. Please try Whole Foods. Um, yeah, 
like you need to go go to like treat yourself y'all buy the things that you really enjoy i was just thinking about this like although like it's really important to me to stay within my grocery shopping budget like i spent 102 dollars at aldi today and 51 dollars at whole foods today which is like right in my grocery budget of 150 per week but like if i go over the grocery budget it really don't matter and that is such a blessing so like if you have the ability to try new things and you know it comes out of your grocery like it exceeds your grocery budget from time to time and you're still able to survive and not scratch and survive like treat yourself y'all we really only get one life don't get too caught up on things that like really don't need to be you know that deep so that's all that i have until next time i will catch y'all in the next video oh but pay attention to this clip afterwards because i got me a new iphone and i want y'all to see the contrasting difference between the video footage all right bye hey i really need to clean up in here but I'm doing, well, I got my new iPhone. So I wanted y'all to see a before and after of what it looks like. Okay, so hold on. So this is me filming on my iPhone SE. Thought my husband was about to come in here. And then this is my iPhone 14. I was hesitant about buying a new phone because why are phones $1,300 now? Why? So, anywho, oh, she heavy. New iPhone, and apparently they don't even come with the charger and headphones no more. So, that's a big disappointment because although I got Beats. I like to have extra headphones for like work and stuff. I like to keep a pair at work, I like to keep a pair in my pocketbook, all of that. Ooh. Babe, huh? can you take this out the box for me? I can't get it. I had to get Bay to open the door. Okay, so this is the packaging. I got the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's see. Oh, let's say it do come with the charging cable. Cable. Oh, no, it don't. It say it includes iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro. Oh, and USB-C to lightning cable. Power adapter and headphones sold separately. So that's the scam that they're doing these days. So you get the cord, but you don't get the box no more. That is so ghetto. Oh, I knew it. They changed the um the cord. It don't got the old cord no more. It's a USB C. I knew it when I was researching beforehand. I think this cord is a little longer too. When I was researching beforehand, they said that they was changing um this. Hold on. So this is not going to work on my phone. And I literally, the only way that I can charge my phone now is through my Beats charger. So I'm going to have to go to the store to get a charger. That is, ooh. anywho, this is the phone. I got the gold one. Now I finally got three cameras instead of one. And sexy. Ooh, this gold is everything. I'm glad I got this gold instead of the black that I wanted to get. Now I got a home button on my current phone. So this is gonna take some getting used to. I ain't even gonna lie. And I already got my case. I wish I had known that I needed a new block beforehand because I would have just ordered it off of Amazon. I got a clear case. Oh, scary. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Pop that in there real good. Oh, yeah, she finally has a new phone. 
Then I got the pop socket that I'm going to put on the bike. Like, yeah. 